Hi guys, this is Roy from Tesla Owners on US and the fuse broke of the center console, the 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. And I did not expect that it was so difficult to just exchange the fuse. And you will see the story now. So let's get the car out of the garage and uh, you know the car drives itself out of the garage with the key fob or with your phone and then I'm going to show you the whole spiel with the exchange of the fuse. When you think the box of the fuses is here, you're right, you are thinking right, there's the fuse box. But this is not, that is probably the main fuse box, but it, that's not the fuse box you need for your center console 12 volt auxiliary outlet. You have to look somewhere else. So let's close the front here because that's the wrong portion. And I already opened that to show you where that is. The so the fuse box is actually here. What you have to do, you have to remove this part here. Let me get it here. That's the side cover. That's the part first what you have to remove. It is all popped in and you can pop it out with those little pieces there and then you can remove the side here as well from here that side to get a better access and then you can remove from here let's see if you see that getting closer and I already removed the damaged fuse. Uh, can we make that sharper? Let's see. Here's the fuse. That's a 20 amp fuse and that's the fuse number four from the left side. There's a brown one, then there's a 25 white one, there's another 5 amp brown one and this is the fuse. Now how to get to those ones? That's not easy either, because these are the micro two fuses. These are not the regular fuses. These this have a smaller footprint. They are much smaller than the standard fuses. So what you would have to do is you would have to take this piece, which is conveniently clamped in there. There you can pull the fuses with it. So you can pull the fuse out there. So sliding in, pull the fuse out. Do not pull randomly any other fuse out. You need to know what fuse it is. That is safely, you can pull that out and then put the other ones back in. This one, very tiny one. So let's do that. So we need a little bit more light, so we're gonna squeeze that in into that min micro O2 fuse into that fuse puller or setter and then you insert it on spot number four of the left side. So to be very tiny fuse to insert there and then a jiggle it in, insert there and then take that fuse, fuse clamp, I call it fuse clamp out. And don't forget to place it there again when before you close that. So you have the tool always with you. Let's check if that's working. So what I recommend is to take any of those chargers here, which have an LED light in it, and then stick it in there. And, and if you can see it now, the blue LED inside is lighting up. So it's working again. 
perfect. That was everything. Fuses exchanged and micro two, that's the fuse type. Don't forget to have some spares in your car if you would dare to exchange it and don't forget maybe yeah, to replace that back in there. So if you liked that movie and it helped you, then please uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I get more interesting technical um, movies as well for your convenience that you got to know when a fuse is burned out, then you have to replace it. But do not pull randomly fuses, that can become a problem. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I'll press and say.